an important film on many different levels, but for you as the producer overseeing everything, what was the most important thing going into this one to kind of bring uh, to the screen? It was, it was to get it right, you know, to, to see a portrayal of Africa that we haven't seen before and to make sure these characters felt real and relatable uh, and to make sure it was something everybody could enjoy. You know, it really is a film that I think has something in it for everyone. Yeah. Was it important as well to, it, it, it seems it's part of the universe, but also detached as well in, its, in, 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 in the best possible way, in a sense it has its own world. Yeah. Else. Was it important to, to have that element, to we, keep it kind of detached, but also we, still connected? Well, we knew we could do it. Yeah. The good thing was there was enough great stuff in publishing that we knew that we could build an entire film without having to rely on some of the connective tissue of the Marvel Universe. It's always there, obviously, in the details, but we knew uh, we could build a story that people would love without it. So it was nice. And it has been nice for, with the reception so far to see that, that audiences are digging it, you know? What was it about Ryan that made him the perfect filmmaker? Because he's come from an independent background. Yeah. And obviously went into Creed, which is kind of a good go-between between, between yeah. independent and big cinema, and now Black Panther. What made him perfect for this? You know, in both Creed and Fruitvale Station, they're about men who are going through a complicated time. And we knew that was something that T'Challa was going to have to do in this film. Uh, and the performances in both of those films are immaculate. You know, we have had really good luck finding the best storytellers and surrounding themselves by technicians that have done it before. So we weren't so worried that he hadn't done a big giant movie. We knew he could tell a good story. Uh, and we also knew he was a very talented writer. And he and Drew Robert Cole wrote a fantastic piece of material that the entire film is based on. Absolutely. I mean, you got to this point now with the universe where you can attract quite a lot of big names, but also names that we haven't heard before. And there's a great mix in this one. You must have been delighted that, that Rhymes was put together such oh, a boy, the mix. cast is amazing. Yeah, and, and they really came to him. There wasn't anybody we wanted who we couldn't get because I think based on his previous work and just who he is, people wanted to do it. I, I remember um, Angela Bassett being one that we thought, there's no way Angela Bassett's going to come play with us for a little bit. And she was like, honestly, I was just glad to get the call. So to, to, to have a director who is that magnetic and have a piece of the material that people were that interested in was was fantastic. Yeah, and just aside from this, I mean, we've seen now the first trailer for Infinity War, which has taken the world by storm before the film's even That's come right. out. You know, <laughs> That's so hundreds weird. of millions of views. Yeah. We've seen the first bit about Man of the Wasp, which again looks something different and exciting yeah. and everything else. I mean, it must be great that you have so many different things, but also you have these new exciting things, you know, Captain Marvel's on the horizon as well. I mean, what's the most exciting bit for you now at this stage? It's, it's, I think it's exciting for us to try and surprise people. You know, I, I think early on there was a fear more externally than internally, that the comic book movie genre was going to go away. But every time we see a piece of material, we see a different genre that we can play in. And, and we figure out ways to hopefully give audiences something that is a little bit different. There's obviously, the, again, the connective tissue of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is what it is. But figuring out how to make Black Panther different than Eminem Watts, different than Captain Marvel, different than the new Spider-Man, those are fun challenges that, that we take on internally and hopefully uh, translates to the screen. Yeah, I just finally, we've just seen the photos been released of all you guys at the, the 10 years from October. Yeah, we yeah. Tried to, we're trying to pick you out. And it's like a fun game, <laughs> yeah, right. But when, when you go into that environment and you see all those people, you must still pinch yourself and think this it's is overwhelming. absolutely crazy. What, what's great is when the cast is also overwhelmed, when everybody there is like seeing somebody that they're a fan of. Uh, and we've been so fortunate with our cast that there's. We feel like we're punching above our weight so many times, but to have Benedict Cumberbatch and Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pratt and now Chadwick and Lupita and Denai, uh, the amount of talent we have is so fantastic. And having them in the same room was really, really fun. Yeah, lots, lots to come, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, pleasure. pleasure. Thank you so absolutely. much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you know.